What's an unfun fact? Fatal familial insomnia exists. It's a rare, incurable prionic brain disease that progressively destroys your brain's ability to sleep. Eventually you stop sleeping altogether, go insane, have seizures, and die. Brush-tail possums are coprophagic, eat their own shit. They need their food to go through their digestive system twice to get all the nutrients. They're nocturnal, so spend the night eating eucalyptus and other plant leaves and flowers. During the day, they curl up into a little bowl with their mouths close to their bums, and eat the soft poo as it comes out in. Then while they're out at night, they poo out hard, long pellets of poo, having absorbed all the nutrients. When your skin becomes red from spending too much time under the sunlight, it's basically because your skin cells are committing suicide to avoid becoming cancerous. The process is called apoptosis, and when cells whose DNA gets messed up by UV radiation doesn't commit suicide, that's when it starts growing out of control and thus becomes skin cancer. The female tarantula hawk wasp stings a tarantula between the legs, paralyzes it, then drags the prey to a specially prepared burrow where a single egg is laid on the spider's abdomen, and the entrance is covered. Sex of the larvae is determined by fertilization, fertilized eggs produce females, while unfertilized eggs produce males. When the wasp larva hatches, it creates a small hole in the spider's abdomen, then enters and feeds voraciously, avoiding vital organs for as long as possible to keep the spider alive. After several weeks, the larva pupates. Finally, the wasp becomes an adult and emerges from the spider's abdomen to continue the life cycle. The youngest person to ever give birth was a Peruvian girl, Lena Medina, a Quechua Indian who gave birth to a child in 1939 at age 5. She had precocious puberty and had her first period at age 8 months. She may have been snatched at a debauched indigenous religious festival where people often brought small children and snatching were known to occur. The man who snatched her was never found, and she was silent about how she got pregnant. The delivery was by cesarean as vaginal delivery was deemed impossible. Her son was told that he was her little brother, and she also treated him in this manner. Obviously, she was an incompetent parent, preferring to play with dolls rather than tend to the baby, but that's to be expected. The case is well documented in medical journals, including photos of her pregnant body. It is also in the Guinness Book. She later married, had another son, went to work for the physician who delivered her, and lived a quite normal life. The son was healthy but died young at age 40. She and her family both refused all requests to speak of the case, including offers of significant sums of money. As of 2008, she was still alive at age 75 and living in a slum in Lima, Peru. If she is still alive, she would be 87 years old. People who handle cockroaches develop allergies to them. This usually prevents them from drinking pre-ground coffee because of the cockroaches that get grounded in with the large batches. That brain-eating amoebas exist at all, and is also pretty commonly found in freshwater ponds and lakes. Apparently only four people have survived getting it in the last 50 years. I have a friend that got LASIK eye surgery, and then two months after she started getting eye pain and was losing her vision. Somehow, a flesh-eating amoeba got into her eye via the eye flap left over from the surgery and started eating her cornea. She was in serious pain and eventually lost all sight. Seems like they managed to kill off the amoeba, and then she got a cornea transplant. Squirrels will eat baby birds and horses will eat baby chicks if given the chance. Pandas will eat eat mice and other small animals on a regular basis. Most, if not almost all, species of animals will eat other animals for a multitude of reasons. Dolphins in captivity usually commit suicide by suffocating themselves. It gets worse they do this by consciously deciding to not breathe until they die. It's less pressing a pillow against your own face, and more holding your breath so hard it kills you, and you are awake and aware the entire time. They get so bored and desperate they would rather die than live as an entertainment slave. In my opinion it is the best example of a non-human entity demonstrating free will. Suicide bombers are a lot easier to identify post-mortem than you'd expect. This is because the blast from the suicide belt hits the base of the head in such a way that the head pops off like a cork. Investigators therefore have a relatively intact head to ID. Scuba divers can experience a sudden change in pressure when swimming near pipes and will get sucked inside, doesn't matter the size of the hole. It's called Delta P, worst part? 
someone else usually has to go inside the pipe to remove the body. Every unborn baby grows a mustache in the womb, which then spreads to cover the entire body. The baby then eats the entire hair called lanugo, and excretes it after birth with their first bowel movement, which is a substance called meconium. Anyone can have a brain aneurysm at any age. No matter your health situation. My 21-year-old friend had one as he walked in the door to his house. He still lived with his mother, father and sister, and his parents were making dinner in the kitchen. He asked for a glass of water, intending to take some painkillers for his sore head. And then he just fell over. The doctor said he was dead before he hit the floor. It was, and still is, devastating. A coronal mass ejection, CME, is a powerful burst of energy from the sun, disrupting electronics and causing blackouts. The last time one hit Earth, it ignited telegraphs on fire. We are due for one every 150 years. The last one hit in 1859. These solar storms are a release of plasma and accompanying magnetic field from the solar corona. When the gas chambers were first assembled and experimented with at the Auschwitz concentration camp, the SS soldiers that oversaw the process found that the people inside would start screaming as soon as the gas agent was dropped in. The screaming was so loud that it could be heard through the thick walls of the building and the victims would continue screaming over the course of 20 minutes until it gradually faded to nothing. The screaming disturbed the soldiers, believe it or not, so they tried to think of a way to drown out the noise so they didn't have to hear it. Their idea was to get two motorcycles and rev the engines as loudly as they could at the same time during those 20 minutes. It didn't work. There is a whale called 52 Blue that only sings at that frequency meaning it can't communicate with other whales. It is nicknamed the loneliest whale on the planet. There's a theory that the whale is either deaf or a hybrid species of two different kinds of whale, making a song that is in between those two. I'll give you two. The most common cause of death for tall people is a heart attack, brought on by the fact that their hearts just naturally have to work harder than average to circulate all that blood through that larger body. Left-handed people are most likely to die in an accident involving a power tool, because they're all designed by right-handed people for right-handed people. I'm tall, 6 apostrophe 6.5 or 1.98 meters, and I'm left-handed. Which one will it be for me? Your voice on recordings is actually how your voice really sounds. Your voice in your head is a bit muffled and deeper, because the sound travels through your head instead of the air. That's why it feels weird to hear your own voice recorded. Your recorded voice is a bit high-pitched, it takes a very good microphone to capture your real voice but the one in your head is, most of the time, way off. Fossilization is actually quite rare. It takes a very specific set of circumstances for something to even become a fossil let alone have it survive to the modern day. This means there are likely millions of species of animals, plants, and other organisms that we will simply never know about because they either, never fossilized. Their fossils were destroyed, either naturally or by humans. The fossils are in an area not easily accessible to humans, like at the bottom of the ocean or under the ice in Antarctica. For all we know, there could have been an advanced civilization that existed before humans, but we may never know about them because any trace of their existence has been lost to time. Kinda makes you wonder if we're gonna end up that way. Anglerfish mate by the male permanently grafting himself onto the female. As time goes on, everything that is no longer needs for the male, brain, eyes, etc., will deteriorate, leaving the reproductive organs. The male is now just a set of balls for the female to impregnate herself with. You have a body, and there are at least a dozen ways things can go catastrophically wrong with every single part in it. And I'm talking down to the cellular level. One of the Beastie Boys died because his salivary gland got skin cancer. Heart attacks, seizures, strokes, aneurysms, cancers, weird genetic diseases, sudden coronary, any of it can happen to you at any time. One of those or something equally miserable will happen to you if you live long enough. It's coming, and nothing can stop it. When Hitler decided to eradicate the Jews it wasn't simply extermination, but recycling. When the heads of those going into concentration camps were shaved the hair was saved and used to stuff pillows and mattresses. The body fat from some of the corpses were used to make soap and there is record of at least one lampshade made of human skin. 
Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.